my lovers welcome to my channel let me just make a minor adjustment Alrighty, you're at a different angle today because of the exercise that we have to do because i have to try and use the whole um width of my table right and my table is not that large all right so um what we're going to do today um it's a short exercise and i think it's going to be a short video um and it's about where are you both in your journey you and the person that you're watching this for now the tarot is the journey of life from the time we are born with the fool to the time where we achieve self-integration with the world and completeness okay um so what you need because it's interactive you're gonna need at least two decks if you're inquiring about yourself um you can use you need two decks even if you inquire about the other person um, you can still use two decks, but it means then you just have to do them one after the other when we're doing this in tandem. Okay. Oh, the music I'm playing today, um, it's music to open up your heart chakra because I was guided to do that for you guys. A lot of you guys are closing it down due to fear. Don't do it. <laughs> okay. Anyway, so um, what I've done, I've taken out the major arcana out of each deck that I'm going to use. Right. So that's what you need to do. And then you need to um, put them in order and put them upright because I've set the intention that if these come out in reverse, it's an additional message for us. I don't know what the message is going to be, but I'm going to figure it out. I'm going to get that inspiration by the time I get there. All right. So set the fool aside for now. And then you're going to arrange your cards one to nine and then 10 to 18 and then the rest. Okay. So that's why I had to clear my table. Maybe I need to bring this across just a bit. So let me just do this. I'm going to put them fairly close together because even by clearing my table, I'm, I still might be a little short here. Now you guys can still see. All right. Can you see Hermit? Yes, you can see Hermit. In fact, let me move Hermit up maybe a bit across like that. Arrange them like this. Okay. That should be alright. No, I don't want that. This will have to be up here. <coughs> okay. And then Hermit will be here, right? And then we're going to take 10. We're going to start Wheel of Fortune. And come across. And I'm going to show you something very interesting about the tarot. And then we have the moon, the sun, judgment. Okay, something went wrong somewhere. What did I do? Da 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 da. Why star here? Oh yeah, star is there. Right, okay, yeah. I put the moon in the wrong place. Right, 18 is there. Exactly. Because I was like, what the hell? Right. And then we have full separate. Okay. All right, so when we arrange the cards like this, you will realize that all the number ones that align with the magician are aligned right under him right so we have one and then we have 10 which reduces to one and then we have 19 which reduces to one cool right oh my goodness all right all right let me make the minor adjustment here okay that should be it yeah you can see everything and then we have all the twos we have high priestess we have um justice 11 that reduces to two we have judgment 20 reduces to two all the threes the empress um hangman reduces to three um then we have the world which reduces to three then the emperor four and death four um hierophant five <clears throat> temperance five the lover six the devil six so it's so interesting that the, the lover and the devil, right? So the divine, divine relationship and the distorted one. Then chariot, 
progress and then destruction they're both sevens then eight the card of restraint and strength and then eight um, the card of releasing so restraint release and then we have um, the hermit here and then we have the moon okay so what we're going to do now and then of course we have the fool so i've intended that this deck is going to be for um the masculine energy okay and you're just going to give it a nice shuffle Maybe each Saturday I tell you something different about the tarot. God, I can't even cut it for three. <laughs> All right, so let's see where he's in his journey. Um, shall we take four? We're going to take four. Four is a card of stability. We're going to take four. All righty. So we have here justice. So we put this card on justice, okay? And he's justice reverse. And then we have First in reverse and then we have judgment in reverse okay he got more than four I'm still gonna take them and then we have temperance upright and we have him with the fool already given several messages all right so let's see the feminine energy now where is she since we got five cards for the masculine we're going to take five cards for her as well so she is the empress upright <laughs> good going girlfriend <laughs> She is the High Priestess. Upright. Fudge Nugget. She has too much to say. <laughs> I'm not going to take all these cards. I'm actually going to shuffle again. Maybe I take the card. That's... No, I'm not. I'm not going to take either of them. But I will tell you that what came out was... The devil and the tower, which makes a lot of sense, quite frankly. <laughs> Woo! Feeling that devil energy. <laughs> All right. Oh, goodness. Bloody hell. What the hell? No, it's still more than five. All right. much more cards we need for three more right I left in the fool didn't I anyway yeah oh, of course I have, to, I have to leave in fool guys my brain what the hell um feminine energy what the hell's wrong with you guys today <laughs> you're scattered oh and you've you've knocked the masculine energy right off his feet <laughs> what the hell is this let me make sure i have all the cards <laughs> you've knocked his judgment upright <laughs> i'm gonna leave it like that you <laughs> He gave him a slap and knocked some sense into him. What the hell is going on here today? All right, so three cards. Oh, this is so funny. Okay, here we here she is with the strength. All right, two more. Let's see if we can um do this unscathed. Oh, she has here Hierophant in reverse. And one more. 
she has the moon in reverse. Lovely. Alrighty. So let's see. Let's take them out. So. Okay. So for the masculine energy. Uh, uh, uh. I think the first card he got was justice in reverse. Okay. No, let me read. Yeah. First card. He got. No, no, no. How do I read this, guys? Let me do feminine energy first. All right. So here you are, feminine. In a high priestess energy. Okay. You're using your intuition. Um, you're really connected to spirit. Um, you're mysterious. You're sexy. But there might be a little bit of illusions as well because in this particular deck, the high priestess talks about illusions. So there might be something that you may not be seeing clearly. And I really think I'm on the right track with this because we have the Hierophant in reverse. It means that you're still learning a particular lesson. Okay, maybe I'll clarify and see. All right, let me clarify and see what that means. All right, this might be a longer video than we intended. All right, so why is High Priestess here? I'll just go one card. Okay. High Priestess is here because there's something you're not seeing clearly. And that's because you've not seen the truth of the matter. This is the Knight of Swords in reverse. So it's like you're waiting for some kind of truth to come in. And it's not coming in. And because of that, there's a lot of um, illusions. There's a lot of um, speculation, conjecture um, mulling around. And it, you, you're, not, you're, not, you're, not, you're not seeing the, the big picture. You're not seeing everything. And, and that has you um, a bit of balance. But your natural groundedness with this empress energy here it's kind of balancing this off okay you're balancing this off so you're connected to spirit but you're grounded as well right you're standing in your empress energy you're manifesting as well manifesting your abundance some of you might be bringing forth new life but you're definitely giving birth um to new projects here You're here being the symbol of sensuality, nurturing, abundance, femininity, fertility. You're standing in your empress energy. It's just that there's some truth that you're either not seeing or you're waiting to receive. And it has you um, in a bit of illusion. Maybe even a bit confused, I would say. You also have here the Hierophant in reverse. All right, now the Hierophant is a card of commitment, it's a card of marriage, um, but it's also a card of learning um, your spiritual lessons. So with it in reverse here, I'm getting that there may be some kind of spiritual lesson that you are learning at this point in time or you have not completed learning. Um, maybe this is also um, representative of maybe a commitment dream that has not been realized. Um, let me clarify and see why it's why it's here so it looks like there's a there is a spiritual lesson that you still have not completed yeah and it's about freeing yourself freeing yourself from negative thoughts and freeing yourself from fear and that's why i was playing that heart chakra music it's about opening your heart and choosing love over fear okay it's about choosing love over fear so maybe you've been bombarded with so many negative thoughts of all the things that happened, maybe all the betrayals, all the lies, all the deceit, whatever it is, you've been bombarded with it and you've been finding it hard for you to release these fears. But this is a lesson that you, that you have to learn at this point in time. This is a lesson that's left because I see all your other cards are in the upright, right? No, except the moon. But that's a, that's a good card to be in the reverse, quite frankly, right? So this lesson about freeing yourself, freeing yourself from fear, that's what you're learning right now. And it's weird because I already started um, doing your astrological signs for November and Taurus, which is the Hierophant. The, the title is about 
the battle between love and fear. And that's exactly what's happening here. It's the battle between love and fear. Okay? But you're here. You're strong. You might be holding back yourself. might be holding back some of your emotions. Um, especially your passions. <laughs> yes, we're doing that. Right? We're holding back some of your passions, maybe. Um, you're practicing restraint. You know, you have a tight control over um, your emotions. And you're a symbol um, of spiritual strength. You're in that Leo energy. Strong. No matter what happens. You persevere. You're strong. And then the last card you got. We had the moon reverse. So what are you doing? You're freeing yourself from any sort of illusion. Um, you're, maybe secrets are being revealed to you. Or maybe you are learning secrets about um, your other person. Or maybe you're learning secrets about yourself. But whatever it is, all the illusions, everything that was hidden um, is now being revealed. Let me um, clarify just for the additional message. So why is the moon here in reverse? So I mean, you can do this at home for your own messages, right? But I'm thinking this is going to resonate with you. You let me know in the comments. Right. It's, it's the same thing. There's some truth that you're not seeing or some truth that was hidden from you that's probably now being revealed. I'm also getting that, oh, I'm getting that there is some truth about your shadow side that you're not seeing. There's some shadow work that you still have not completed. So there's some truth about yourself, some truth about your shadow, your shadow side that you still have to face. You're afraid of your judgment in that area. Hmm. That's interesting. All right, so that's feminine energy here. We're just going to put her aside for a moment. All right, we're going to leave you here. Let's look now at masculine energy. I think the first card that came out for him was justice in reverse. So what does this tell us? This tells us that the masculine um, is in a karmic cycle. Or some sort of karmic cycle but there's some kind of karmic lesson he's learning um, he's receiving his karma so that he can recognize um, the consequences of his words and of his actions and I, must, I keep telling you guys this is why the karmic relationship is important because without this without this he would continue to go around doing the same things that he's always done not recognizing the consequences of his actions not recognizing the people that he's hurt but through the karmic partner this karmic justice is extracted so if your person did anything to you in the past that was not kosher trust me they get it back threefold through the karmic partner that's why um they're working on your behalf they are extracting karmic justice on your behalf you didn't realize that, right? So you need to send them love. <laughs> because the work that they're doing is very heavy, right? The work that they're doing is very heavy. But yeah, they are the karmic collectors. That's what I, I call them. The karmic collectors. They, they, they extract that universal justice, right? So you're, the masculine is in a karmic cycle. I'm learning a very powerful um, karmic lesson. I think the card that came out after that was the empress in reverse so why the empress you feminine um, you're very grounded he's very ungrounded um his whole world has and by he i mean the masculine energy his whole world has been shaken up um there might be some kind of upheaval upheaval with the karmic partner or some kind of upheaval with a mother figure um in his life but the, totally ungrounded he may not even be able to manifest or receive abundance from the universe because there is a blockage here right he is learning a lesson on how to manifest and what he has to do to manifest and you know his abundance might be blocked because maybe that's part of um his karma as well but um he's ungrounded so totally different energy um from you feminine um the other card that we have here um is temperance Yeah, temperance. Trying to find balance. Learning what is just, what is right, 
what is balance for all involved i think this is what um, he's trying to achieve in his life balance after being knocked off his feet and ungrounded by this karmic justice trying to achieve a balance for everybody involved including himself because he's he's putting himself first half of the problem that some of these masculines have um is people pleasing so he's putting himself first. so balancing himself with the personal relationships in his life balancing his masculine and feminine energies and trying to figure out what is just and trying to bring justice to everybody involved because everybody has been affected by words and actions right um and then we have judgment which initially came out reverse and then was not um upright by the empress so i'm going to take that as a sign that maybe he's now awakened. He was unawakened before, not recognizing again the consequences of his words and his actions, right? Um, just living life, going through life without any kind of introspection. And let me tell you something, there's nothing more destructive than the life led unexamined, where you don't um, reflect upon the things that you've done or the lessons or anything like that. It is the worst type of existence and it causes the most destruction right so he was living this unexamined life not interested in whoever he hurt or whatever was done but then empress came and knocked him off his feet not this upright wake up bitch <laughs> i'm sorry i don't mean to call him that i don't mean to call him that wake up <laughs> you gotta see what you're doing wake up so she starts the awakening process but you know what it's the karmic that finishes it because that's when they really feel the brunt or the consequences of the action that's what really brings them awake and brings the message home so the feminine starts it but the karmic finishes it okay so he's awakening hard powerful lessons rising from the dead having a rebirth because he's recognizing the consequences of his actions and because he's having this rebirth here He's shedding his baggage. This is what the fool is about. You see, when the fool starts his, the journey, his baggage is light, right? It's only through life that we pick up all this baggage. When we go through all these stages, right? We pick up all that baggage until we reach that completion with the will, right? We pick up all that baggage. But now his baggage is light because he's shedding all that programming, all the baggage from childhood, all the baggage from his past love, everything that went wrong, the things that made him operate like he did. He's shedding his baggage, his baggage is light, and there's his spirit guide, spirit, source energy at his side, preparing him to take this leap of faith to follow his intuition and make an intuitive decision and not just that mental analytical but analytical decisions um, that he's made before. Wasn't that interesting, guys? wasn't that interesting all right so what i'm gonna do i'm gonna take an oracle card let me see how much time i have because oh i have some time so let me take an oracle card for guidance for um both the masculine and feminine energy and what shall i use i didn't plan for this so i'm kind of after digging my little box right now what shall i use uh, oh my god don't fall don't fall don't fall I'm going to I'm going to use the wisdom of the oracle, okay? And put these back. Oh god, I have a box. My other cards are in my cupboard, but I have a box where I keep the cards that I use regularly. And it's kind of overflowing now. I have to sort myself out. All right. So we have about 7 minutes. Yes, 7 minutes. All right. Let's put the wisdom here. We're going to get some wisdom. <laughs> We're gonna get some wisdom ladies first <laughs> feminine energy first sorry all right all right what's the wisdom for the feminine what's the guidance for her okay all right we have thinker in reverse and i'm getting the same message release yourself from negative thoughts so that's the only way you're gonna find stability with this 4-4 so i'm thinking this is what it is then again reverse release that mental energy <laughs> okay all right so i'm gonna put this card here for the feminine and then for the masculine 
<coughs> uh, what's this? Chop wood um, in reverse. Now, chop wood is means going th go through the motions, going through the motions. So in reverse, I'm getting it. Time to do something differently. Time to take action. But you know what? We're going to go in the book. Okay? So let's see. 4 4 for the feminine. How much time do I have? All right, good. I'm good to go. All right. Um, let's see. 4 4 for the feminine here. All right. And the, it's a protection message for both of you guys. All right. The protection message for the feminine. Think a card. You're thinking too damn much. I know I am. <laughs> you might be suffering from a paralysis analysis or analysis paralysis. Either way, you're stuck. <laughs> Sounds about right. <laughs> Thinking has its place, but trying to figure out everything, trying to figure everything out logically is not going to work right now. Your conclusions will likely be faulty and you may act upon false assumptions that will get you in a jam because we don't know the full truth, do we? Give your mind a rest. Do something creative. Exercise or meditate. Soon you'll come to your senses. And an aha moment will bring new clarity. Spot on. Well, for me anyway. <laughs> and I think for you too. I've, I've, I've been talking to quite a lot of um, feminines. It's the same thing. Spot on. And then the protection message for him. Is this the right one? yeah okay let's see what this is a weird thing anyway it says are you an armchair astronaut do you dream of wealth and fame big ideas inventions or desires with a capital d the appearance of this card is a sign that you might be devoting too much time to dreaming and talking about your dreams you have to get out of you have to get out of your chair to make things happen take action you actually have to do something Start with a small task. Remember, the big dream becomes reality only after you've begun to take incremental steps. Mythologist Joseph Campbell once said, take one step towards the gods and they will take 10 steps towards you. So get off of your bum and change your life. <laughs> Sounds about right. <laughs> guys, I want you guys to try this exercise. If you're able, if you have, your, if you have a deck or whatever, and you know comment down below if you enjoyed this video and you want to see more videos from me don't forget to press the like button and make a comment it could be a little smiley face it really as i told you messes with youtube's algorithms okay and helps promote the channel right and if you want me to look into your personal situation in terms of love or whatever you can check out my readings my readings are pretty cheap i have to say right and i don't read for everyone right and that's why i'm always kind of available so you won't have to wait more than three to five days for your reading because i have to scan your energy first okay all right guys take care and i hope you enjoy this bye okay where's where do i have to press oh good lord guys i'm such a mess right now